guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be a Bible study review. It's actually going to be a total of six Bible studies, but in three books, if that makes sense. Um, and I did receive these Bible studies for free for review from Hendrix and Publishers. I actually just did a review on their KJV Expressions Journaling Bible, so you can just click the eye on the screen for that video. But we're going to dive into this because I am loving these. I'm just going to say that right now. I am loving these Bible studies. So... These Bible studies, before I show you guys, are companion Bible studies that go with the Everyday Matters Bible for Women. And um, it is this gorgeous thing here. I have done a video on this already, but I will be doing an updated one really soon for you guys. So you can just click the eye on the screen if you want to see the old one and see what the Bible in entails and includes. But um, this is not a study bible if you will it is a regular kind of bible but it does contain a lot of resources and articles which i am obsessed and in love with but um i can honestly say i haven't been using it as much as i would like to but now that i have these bible studies i definitely will be but yeah this one is the hardcover it does come in hardcover and a deluxe um i think teal and i possibly a pink don't quote me on that but um i'll leave a link to the video down below as well and to where you can get this bible from but the Bible studies are amazing because they are kind of two Bible studies in one. So I am going to read the back of each of these books to you guys. And then I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to look on the inside of these Bible studies. So the first one I have here is the one on fasting and stewardship. And this is one that I probably should have been studying the hardest, honestly. Um, especially since my church did the 21 day fast. But um, I adore this one so much. I'm going to read the back of it show you guys the icons and move on to the next one so this intro is not super long but um reading the back it says the everyday matters bible studies for women series explores 24 spiritual disciplines rooted in god's word geared to draw us closer to him and enrich spiritual formation but of those 24 two in particular are in danger of becoming far too seasonal in our faith both Fasting and stewardship are all too often brushed aside and held at a distance to practice at some point. I can attest to that. I can agree with that. I have always said that I wanted to get into fasting, but I always pushed it to the side and never really cared too fast. I would do the fast with my church, and normally I would do it because, you know, the church was doing it, so I did it. But I will say this year around, I did go into the fast with um, better intentions. I just didn't do it as good as I wanted to, but that's a whole nother story. But Anyways, back to this. Um, so it says, both fasting and stewardship are all too often brushed aside and held at a distance to practice at some point. Yet these two holy habits are far richer and more valuable than we often allow. Both call us to focus on doing God's will rather than our own, acknowledging the resources he has given us, and responding in supplication and gratitude. Learn from scripture and spiritual giants who have gone before us how fasting is part of the way we express our dependence on God, how being a steward is really about reflecting God's glory with our lives and how integral these two spiritual practices are to the Christian walk. If that doesn't sound good, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. But um, these are the symbols here for fasting and stewardship. And these are the sp two of the spiritual discipline icons that you will see that are included inside of the Everyday Matters Bible, which you will see during this review. But that is the first one. The next one I have is on simplicity and silence. And I got this one because I need to work on both. Um, I don't know how to make things simple. And then I also don't know how to remain silent. Um, I can be in silence, but I'm referring to silence as in sitting still, allowing God to speak to me, allowing God to take care of the things that he needs to take care of instead of me opening my mouth and doing things. Um, even silence within my mind because I tend to think way too much and think way too hard. But um, yeah, so the back of this says all spiritual disciplines take practice to incorporate into our daily lives, but two can be particularly difficult to cultivate today simplicity and silence we live in a time when so much is vying for our attention noise has become our natural habitat and distraction is a common companion but god encourages us to seek him meet with him uninterrupted so how do we put these disciplines into practice this bible study will help you focus on what the lord is saying to you in the midst of the color of daily life it could mean a Sorry, it can mean a reordering of priorities, but the takeaway is worth it. Simplicity and silence are daily practices that will form the foundation for a life of spiritual fruitfulness. And these are the icons that you will see inside of the Bible. 
And again, this is one on simplicity and silence. And then we have the one on forgiveness and reconciliation. And this one, do I have to explain why I got it? I find that personally for me, I say that I forgive people, but then I keep um, what they did in my mind. And it tends to cause me to build up walls, um, which is not good. And I need to work on it hardcore um, within my relationship, within my family life, within my personal life. Like, I just need to work on this as a whole. And I love that they combine these two together. So on the back, it says, One of the greatest marks of a life transformed by Jesus is the ability to forgive and reconcile with others. That doesn't mean it's easy, and sometimes true forgiveness can be one of the toughest things we'll ever do. But it can also be the most freeing, which I can definitely agree with. This studies... I'm sorry, the studies in this book examine challenges we face as we try to forgive and reconcile with those who have hurt us. Let's face it, sometimes it's easier to be hurt or angry, to hold on to our sense of justice and pride rather than let go. But both forgiveness and reconciliation are disciplines necessary for the spiritual health of individuals and communities. In practicing them, we see the reality of God's forgiveness and his offer of reconciliation to us. If you've ever experienced the hurt of not being forgiven, if you've ever struggled to forgive someone who wronged you, or if you have trouble acknowledging God's forgiveness in your life, this study is for you. And here are the symbols for that. So these are the six Bible studies that I have, but there are three booklets. And the way that they're set up is that the Bible studies are all a chapters each. So it's broken down into two sections, um, whichever, I'll show you guys. So two sections. So you have your fasting as a section and then you have stewardship as a section. And then you get four chapters for fasting, four chapters for stewardship. So that's how that's kind of set up. And it really connects with the Bible because they are referencing articles from the Bible, which then allows you to open up your Bible to the article flip through it, read through it, take notes, and then obviously dive into the Word of God with it. So I really do like that aspect of it. Um, the Bible studies on Hendrickson Bible's website retails for $7.95. You can check them out on Amazon, ChristianBook.com, I believe. I will leave links down below as well. I do have reviews for all three of these, so you guys, you guys can definitely check the links down below. And um, yeah, so if you want to see the inside of these beauties, keep watching. Okay guys, so I am back and now we're going to dive deeper into these three Bible studies that I have. And I'm going to start off with fasting and stewardship. We are going to dive into this and I'm going to talk about the other two as well. But um, let's zoom in. Alright, so here is how the book comes. And each book, if I'm not mistaken, has two different type of studies in them so each study is broken into four chapters so that that would be a book with eight chapters of a bible study and um they all have a nice distinct color so this one is green i really like that color it's nice they have this kind of floral pattern so it's just everyday matters study i'm sorry everyday matters bible studies for women fasting and stewardship spiritual practices for everyday life on the back it will tell you um, give you a verse, if you will, give you some information about the actual Bible study that you're going to do and then show you the symbols that are within the actual Bible. And I am going to bring out the Bible for you guys in a minute. But and it tells you the purpose of the studies, the ISB and Hendrickson publishers. Oh, you can't see that ISB and Hendrickson publishers. OK, flipping it over. So when you get into it. Um, that is not the first page. You see this, which is fasting and stewardship. So it will tell you exactly what the um, studies are within this book. Then you can look at the other one. So these are all of the practices and topics of um, study. Your ISBN. So these were created in 2014. The first printing was July 2014. And then you get into your content content so you have your holy habits which are spiritual practices for everyday life you have your introduction to the practice of fasting and stewardship and then you go into your um two different studies so the first one is fasting so you have your four chapters which are why should we fast seeking less in life um in a life of too much sorry then you would have when should we fast seeking god in ordinary and extraordinary times how should we fast seeking more of god and when the need is great everyone who seeks and then you have a section for notes and prayer requests. 
Flipping to the next page, you have stewardship and then you have your four chapters, which are the abundance of the master, the earth is the Lord's, the role of the steward, God's caretakers, the confidence of generosity, too wonderful for words, growth is the goal, not playing it safe. Then you have, again, notes and prayer requests and then a leader's guide to fasting and stewardship. So again, here is that kind of first um chapter if you will which is called holy habits spiritual practices for everyday life and it just runs through that and if i'm not mistaken i believe that is in all of these studies yes that is so this is a chapter um that's kind of implemented into all of the bible study books so i feel like if you read it once you don't have to read it again in my opinion but um definitely still would read it then you have your introduction and this is very much scriptural based because you will see different scriptures throughout and we're just going to focus on fasting in this one right now but um so how it's set up is the chapter one you have your title your subtopic you have your main focal kind of scripture if you will and then it will tell you for the study what you need to read so in this case it is isaiah 26 um what i like is that this again works in conjunction with the everyday matters bible which i do own i have done a video on it already so again you can click the on the screen for that but i will have a more updated uh, review of the bible but what i like is that they will always talk about the articles so here it talks about alice brayer barrymore um in her article in the everyday matters bible for women it talks about dallas willard um, so it'll tell you exactly like which articles they're focusing on and then in those articles that are in the Bible you can flip to them. So um, here are the kind of questions for the study. So here it says in his reflections in the Everyday Matters Bible for Women, Ben Patterson. So what you could do is if you have the Bible is I'm going to put this to the side and grab my actual Bible. So here is the Everyday Matters Bible for Women, which is stunning. And I have the hardcover design. This is the dust jacket on, but um, you can always take off the dust jacket because the actual uh, design is on the Bible, which I love. And I'm probably going to do that and save the dust jacket because I don't want to mess it up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it to the back because we're going to go to the back of the Bible. And in the back of the Bible, and pay these white pages, no, these white papers, no mind. That's because I'm going to do a review on the Bible soon. Um, so, you know, in the Bible, you have these little icons that go through all of the different practices. And this is the one for fasting. So because they specifically talk about Ben Patterson, if you guys can see this. Ben Patterson, I am going to now look in the Everyday Reflections because it says in his reflections, and I'm going to look for Ben Patterson, which is right here, A Clearer Focus by Ben Patterson, which is on Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 5. So then what I would do is flip to Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 5. So I'm going to flip to that. And here it is, a clearer focus. So then I would actually read the article through um, before continuing on with that question. So hopefully that helps you see how these work in conjunction. So I'm going to move the Bible back to the side. Um, and it talks about other passages to consider and read. So definitely, you, you know, this is a very hands-on kind of Bible study that I like. And um, it utilizes the actual Bible. So after your Bible study questions, you get things to ponder. And then you have a prayer. Um, and I like, I call them prayer prompts, as you guys know. I like those. So it even gives you a section for you to write your own out. I would actually rewrite this part into my prayer journal and then add on to that. You have put it into practice, which is kind of like something to apply for the week. And then a takeaway, which is something that you should um, keep in the forefront of your mind. So that's pretty much it. Chapter 2, it tells you again what you should study. They give you your focal scripture. It has your scripture references in here. It also talks about the other articles that are in the Bible that you can check out. So this one talks about Matthew Green's notes in her article, Fasting Like the Early Church in the Everyday Matters Bible. So you would, again, go to your Bible and flip to that article. So then you got your questions again, your points to ponder, your prayer. Again, they, they start you out and let you write your own. Then you have your um, application and then your takeaway. So that's how that is set up. So we're going to skip ahead now. 
I'm going to show you guys. So here is the notes and prayer request section. So you could probably jot down notes here or just write down prayer requests for like certain people pertaining to fasting. And then you go into stewardship. So again, the same kind of setup with your chapter, your title, subtitle, um, your focal scripture, the actual chapter or book that you need to read within the bible it goes into the study and it again talks about different articles so here's holly Vin vince vicinet i don't i'm not gonna try to pronounce that but you guys get what i'm saying right so you have that and again same kind of setup your questions points to ponder prayer your application and your takeaway so that's pretty much how it is set up and again i'm going to just flip to um i guess we'll flip through it and find an article so okay so i just flipped back a few um pages and we're still in stewardship here but i'm going to again show you guys the same kind of thing like i did with fasting so here it tells you adele calhoun and how she has an article um on stewardship so i'm going to again grab my bible I'm going to flip to the back that has all of the little icons and we're going to look for stewardship and again her name is Adele so let's see if we can find that here we go so everyday matters the calling of true stewardship by Adele Calhoun is what I'm going to look for so that is 2nd Corinthians 8 and 2 through 4 so we are just going to go to 2nd Corinthians to find that article so this one is a two-page kind of article that you would read through um, because that is exactly what she is talking about in this book so that is pretty much it on how to utilize the actual Bible with the book um, so again this one was on fasting and stewardship Let's take a quick look at the one on simplicity and silence, which is something I really want to work on because, you know, it's kind of hard to keep things simple and to be silent. So again, um, same kind of thing with your holy habits, which is in all of the Bibles. I mean, all of the Bible studies, um, your introduction to the practice of simplicity and silence. Then you have simplicity with your four chapters. So again, same setup that you've seen in the other one. I will say I like that the fonts in these are really nice and bold. Um, they're nice, bold fonts. Here is the one on silence. So let me just run through the chapter topics with you guys. So simplicity for chapter one, it's first things first. Seek first the kingdom of God. Second is stuff and more stuff, craving money, wealth, and possessions. Three is idle hearts, Solom Solomon's foolishness. Four is toward a life of simplicity, advice from Peter, James, and Paul. And then for silence, it has chapter one, a time to be silent, finding a quiet place. Chapter two is silence and the noise, hold the drama, mama. <laughs> That's funny. Managing your tongue, yak, 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 and embracing silence to wait patiently for the Lord. And here are the symbols for both simplicity and silence. Those are the symbols. And moving on to the last one that I have, which is on forgiveness and reconciliation, which is one that I really need to work on both. Um, and here are the symbols for that. Again, same setup. So I'm just going to run through the chapters. So you have forgiveness. Why forgive? Would you rather be right or happy? Chapter two is beyond the pale. Are some things just too much to forgive? Chapter 3 is pay it forward. Has anyone ever forgiven you? And chapter 4 is get over it, moving beyond resentment. Then reconciliation is 1. Reconciling with God, the story of redeeming love. I love that book, Redeeming Love. <laughs> um, chapter 2 is reconciling with yourself. Are you ever your own worst enemy? Which I know I am. Chapter 3 is reconciling with your enemy. Clues from the Beatitudes. And chapter 4 is the secret doing the impossible. So again, these are the three that I have. So basically with these three books, I have six different Bible studies. And um, there are again more of these, which I'm going to have a full-blown series coming 
featuring every single one i am going to be doing that soon um and you guys are actually going to walk through with me using the bible using the bible study and actually utilizing them because what i don't want is um for people just to buy them and think that you know cool or whatever i want people to actually see me using these so you guys can um try them out and see for yourself how things work together and i love companion bible studies and companion workbooks because they just make bible study so much fun at least in my opinion but <laughs> i'm going to end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions just let me know you guys know i'm always open to answering you guys' questions i like communicating and talking with you guys um again all the links will be listed down below on amazon christianbook.com as well as to the hendrix and rose publishing website for each of these studies i am going to have a blog post listed down below with all of the actual bible studies and a photo of each of them so you guys can check those out and grab those once i get those i will be doing um review videos for those as well so you guys can see but um yeah that is it and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.